So now that we tarot card definitions to the door, what do we do now? Time to call on our intuition. In this video, we are going to do a fun exercise with the cards that will demonstrate the fact that you have intuition at your fingertips right here, right now. So right about now, you are probably saying, sometimes I know who's calling and texting, but am I intuitive enough to read tarot? Here is our next sacred cow to slay. The idea that intuition or psychic ability is, quote, a gift. That some people have it and some people don't. It's not. We all have it. Some of us are born with it way more developed than others for sure. But everybody has it, everybody can improve it, and everybody can use it. That's why tarot is a practice. So yes, you are psychic or intuitive enough to learn tarot if you're willing to put in the practice. The key here is that intuition happens in the moment. So the Hierophant you pull today is not the Hierophant you will pull tomorrow or the Hierophant that you pulled yesterday. So going back to Sacred Cow from video number one, tarot cards don't have definitions. No one can definitively say that the Hierophant means X, Y, or Z. But what we can say is that the Hierophant in this particular moment is signaling something relevant right now. Just like this red bird up in the tree calling. So let's not dwell on this any longer and let's get rolling with the exercise. You ready? Here we go. Grab a pen and paper and write down a fairly extensive list of everyone you know. If you are like me and don't have a lot of people in your close circle, you can extend the list to people you don't actually know but know something about living or dead. And if you really want to spice it up, you can add fictional people, as in movie characters or book characters. Then you'll take out the court cards. There are 16 and lay them out in a four by four arrangement. Using solely the pictures on the cards, try to match the people on your cards list to the people in front of you. You can make a grid on a piece of paper for this or use the worksheet included in the download link. Try to put your space yourself in the space of being a little kid again. How would you match the people in the cards? Just go with your gut, your instinct, your intuition. Just Go ahead and match those people and cards. And don't forget yourself, which court card are you? And for goodness sake, don't think about what anybody else says this or that card means. Remember, we showed tarot definitions the door at the beginning of this video and they ain't coming back. It's okay if you think one person matches to more than one court card. After all, we all have different roles we play. But don't go overboard with most of your people matching more than one card. That just muddies the water at, the, at this point. Bite the bullet and pick one for now. And it's also okay if you have three people that match the King of Wands or any other card. As well, it's okay to go outside the the lines of gender, meaning women don't have to be queens and men don't have to be kings. You can note in your tarot journal why you match the people in the cards you did. And you can also talk about the confusion you felt or the hard decisions you had to make. If you really get stuck trying to match someone to the cards, you can just ask the cards. Behold the magic of tarot. Just say, among the court cards, who is blank. Shuffle the cards and pull one. Do you see any, re any resemblance? Any correspondence? Tips for this exercise. Have fun with it. Nothing is written in stone, so don't worry about messing it up. Think of it as an experiment or as a learning exercise. Adopt the mindset of, on this day, 
at this time, this is the truth of my life as reflected through the cards. Trust yourself. <laughs>